Howdy folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Skylanders Giants Gilgrunt Gaming figure by Activision. This uh, figure is part of a three pack that includes Gilgrunt, Flashwing, and Double Trouble. And Gilgrunt is also available as a single packed character. Now this set was first released in 2012 as part of the second wave of figures released for Skylanders Giants. And uh, it's sold uh, at uh, most mass retailers. I got this set uh, at GameStop uh, and paid $24.99 uh, for this set. Now I'm going to just go ahead and take a look at Gilgrunt uh, in this video while separate videos will be dedicated to Flashwing and Double Trouble. Taking a look at Gilgrunt in the package, you can see that this is a Series 2 uh, Gilgrunt uh, and uh, it's pretty cool and you can see uh, it's a different sculpt uh, from the previous Gilgrunt from uh, Spyro's Adventure and uh, behind the figure is the gaming card and a sticker sheet and uh, you can see uh, Gilgrunt here with the uh, Series 2 uh, logo and uh, Gilgrunt is uh, compatible with both Spyro's Adventure and uh, Giants uh, which is very nice taking a look at the back of the package here we have uh, the figures here uh, in action uh, you have a picture of Gilgrunt and a screenshot of Gilgrunt and uh, have a guide here on how to use the figures in the game you take the figure place it onto the portal and that'll activate the character in game and uh, the figures can uh, be used uh, to play anytime and anywhere on a variety of uh, platforms. Uh, you got consoles, PCs, and uh, mobile devices, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, we have here a Series 2 uh, logo and specific to Series 2 characters. Some of the nice things uh, that are uh, included, uh, such as new Wow Pal, uh, specific to Series 2 and an increased level cap to 15 which is not really limited to series 2 the series 1 uh, characters can be uh, leveled up to 15 as well so that's um, sort of misleading there here we have a preview of uh, different characters in uh, Skylanders Giants that you can collect uh, you have here uh, some of the undead faction, some of the life faction some of the magic faction and the air faction or elements I should say uh, pretty cool and nice uh, preview of uh, other figures to collect. Now we'll be right back and have Gilgrunt out of the package. Okay, we're back and we have Gilgrunt out of the package. And uh, this figure is actually uh, pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice uh, sculpting detail on it and some excellent paint as well. And uh, before we take a look at the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at the items that come included uh, with the uh, Gilgrunt uh, figure. And first up, uh, we'll take a look at the sticker sheet here, and it uh, has basically two stickers, uh, one of the uh, figure or character in action, uh, pretty cool, and uh, the second sticker uh, has Gilgrunt's name and uh, web code, uh, which I I'm not going to reveal because we're going to use that later on. Uh, but that code can be used on the interwebs uh, to access the uh, character through there and uh, pretty neat and here is just a visual guide on using the the name sticker to apply to the collector poster if you're inclined to do that so uh, that's pretty cool also included is this here which is basically uh, care information and warning information uh, and uh, also how to use the web code uh, on the interwebs to access the character through there let me just uh, turn this down a little bit there and you can see all the care and warning information in very fine print <laughs> in several different languages on uh, both sides so that's uh, kind of cool uh, the next thing uh, we'll take a look at is the card and uh, each Skylander figure comes with a card and uh, the, the card for the uh, Gilgrunt in Series 2 is actually different from uh, Series 1 or the Spyro's Adventure Gilgrunt uh, in terms of stats. And uh, here you can see uh, the stats uh, down below. 
Uh, there are four, uh, I guess, ratings of uh, strength or power, uh, defense or armor, speed or agility, and uh, luck. And uh, on the series two, or actually uh, of all the Skylander Giants uh, cards, they increase the stats from uh, 100 to 150 maximum possible. So that's uh, kind of cool. And uh, the stats for Series 2 Gilgrunt is actually uh, different from Series 1 Gilgrunt. Unfortunately, I don't have a Series 1 card uh, available to compare the two because uh, I seem to have misplaced the Series 1 card uh, during my move. But uh, I, I looked at uh, the Double Trouble, which I do have a card of from Series 1, and I noticed that the stats are different. So I'm going to guess that... The Series 2 stats are different as well, and taking a look at Series 2 Gilgrunt stats, you can see that uh, his strength is rated at 85, and his uh, defense is rated at 70, his speed is rated at 40, which is a bit slow, and his uh, luck ability or finding treasure, I guess, chances of finding uh, greater treasure, is rated at uh, level 85. And uh, up here you can see the uh, picture of uh, Series 2 Gilgrunt. Uh, in action, same as the sticker, and you can see the element that uh, Gilgrunt belongs to, which is the water element. Uh, his name going down the side, and an icon indicating that he is a Series 2 uh, figure. On the back, it's your typical Skylanders uh, card, or this, in this case, Skylanders Giants, with the logo here in the middle, and uh, a white background with faded element icons, uh, which is uh, a bit hard to see. Uh, on the video, but uh, that's the card. Now taking a look at uh, Gilgrunt from Skylanders Giants, and it's actually a pretty neat figure. Uh, I like it quite a bit uh, in terms of detail. Now, uh, Series 2 uh, Skylander figures uh, compared to their Series 1 counterparts are different in sculpt and, uh, and other things as well. Uh, but, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a comparison uh, between the Series 1 or Spire's Adventure Gilgrunt and uh, Series 2. And you can see that uh, they are uh, much different in the sculpt. So if you're into collecting the uh, unique uh, versions of characters, uh, I would uh, recommend doing so because uh, they are uh, very unique. In fact, I believe that all of the Series 1 uh, Skylanders uh, are their pre-upgraded forms. And the uh, Series 2, from what I've seen so far, are their upgraded forms. And you can tell mainly uh, because uh, the weapon that uh, Gilgrunt wields on the Series 2 one is the, uh, the uh, harpoon-like weapon uh, as opposed to the pre-upgraded form of uh, Series uh, 1. So, pretty neat. But uh, taking a look at a uh, closer detail at uh, Gilgrunt here, it's very cool. And he's in a very uh, action type pose uh, using his jet pack or water pack here. Uh, you can see that he's uh, off the water there and he got some space uh, in between, which is pretty cool. So what's supporting the figure is the, uh, the water uh, jet blast uh, from his uh, pack there. So that's kind of neat. Uh, but you can see uh, him wielding this nice, huge uh, harpoon-like gun, which is an upgrade uh, from his uh, previous uh, weapon. You can see the, the weapons are even different on there, so that's uh, pretty neat. And uh, you got the big, huge harpoon with four prongs there, uh, which is nice, uh, and painted in uh, gold-like color. And uh, it's a little soft, and so you don't want to move it around too much unless you want to bend it or warp it on there so mine seems to be perfectly uh, I guess not straight but uh, perfectly posed it's not uh, prone to bending or warping uh, during the packaging so that's kinda cool uh, you can see Gilgrunt here uh, uh, upgraded pack compared to uh, his series one uh, which is basically two wooden barrels uh, but now it has upgraded to a new form, so that's pretty cool. And it's got a nice uh, light blue paint on here and uh, gold as well, so that's uh, pretty nice. And of course you got the, the effect here of the water blast in translucent blue plastic, which is very nice. It's a really nice figure, I really do like it. And uh, you can also see um, Gilgrunt here uh, standing on uh, his element base, uh, that of water. And uh, 
one of the nicer uh, bases is the, uh, the water element base because it's got that translucent plastic uh, of blue and uh, this one is designed uh, uh, nicely as well and also underneath uh, the element base is the uh, I guess the base indicating that this comes from Skylanders Giants uh, the orange color uh, as opposed to green uh, which is for Spyro's Adventure so pretty nice uh, overall a very cool figure and uh, if you're into uh, collecting uh, unique sculpts uh, for the figures uh, it's actually uh, I think worthwhile I think it's uh, very nice to have a pre-upgraded and upgraded form of uh, your favorite character so pretty nice and uh, uh, game wise uh, they're uh, actually not d much different uh, the only difference uh, game wise is I believe Series 2 has that uh, Wow Pow ability uh, an ability uh, unique uh, to Series 2 uh, but both characters are essentially the same uh, in the game uh, you can take either character into either version of the game uh, there is a uh, level cap in uh, Spyro's Adventure of uh, 10 uh, so if you take uh, this uh, guy here into uh, Spyro's Adventure he, he'll level up to a maximum of 10 while uh, in Giants the level cap is at 15 so you can uh, level either of these characters uh, up to level 15 so game wise there's not much difference so if you're not into the collecting of the sculpts uh, I don't know if you really uh, want to just uh, purchase both or maybe you just want to purchase uh, one or the other whichever one you're able to find uh, but uh, keep in mind that the uh, Series 2 figures do have a unique uh, Wow Pow uh, ability, or is it Pow Wow? I think it's Wow Pow on there. So, but uh, fairly uh, nice figure uh, in a decent action pose and nicely painted uh, and sculpted. Uh, uh, really a uh, nice looking figure. Uh, this is my casual peek into the Skylanders Giants Gilgrunt gaming figure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.